Second down and three. Looking to throw. Baldwin over the middle, and it's incomplete. This offense on third down today, they've had a lot of chances, but not much success, converting only three times. This time it's third and three. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. They're able to convert with a gain of four. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Back to throw. Baldwin. And this is incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Here's Battle. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Yeah, now it's the safety that came through and made the play, but there's no doubt in my mind, he hits like a linebacker. And we see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Looking to throw. Baldwin. That's Ward. Complete right side. And they'll rally and stop him short of the first down at about the six. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that's going to make it fourth down. And now the Tampa Bay field goal unit comes out here. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And his kick is good. And that will close the gap down to 14. Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still going to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. As you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. Back to throw. Row. Throw left side complete. That's Ferguson. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that's going to bring up second down. Looking to throw. Row. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Back to throw. Row. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Ferguson. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, it's a video game, man. <laughs> go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. Now here's a throw that's complete. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era, and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. <laughs> That's all they care about right now. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now a handoff running through the middle. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. 
A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. Play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. Hey, Mike 20, Mike 20. Operating from the gun. Rowe finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he can only manage to take the football to the 40, and that is well shy of the first down marker. So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely, no matter what angle you're making the tackle from, you can't grab the face mask, and that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little bit more. And now it's first and 10, a big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Following the penalty, they'll go back to the run game. And he'll take this ahead for about four, second down coming up. The recipe is pretty simple, I think, right? Just you give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Looking to throw. Rowe flush to his right. Touchdown, Falcons! A great effort there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Falcons add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Well, I've heard you use the term put-away drive, and that right there seemed like the definition of a put-away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because up two scores already, just wanted to possess the football, keep converting and picking up first downs. And if the drive ends in three points, that's terrific. If it ends in a touchdown, fantastic. The point after is good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. This has been frustrating for them to this point. They have not looked the same as they did coming in, riding that impressive six-game win streak. First and 10, Baldwin. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Back to throw, Baldwin. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. Shotgun handoff to Samuels. And able to use his stiff arm for a little bit of leverage before he's taken down. A pretty good game. From the gun on third down, Baldwin. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. 
The throw down the field, caught by his running back. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. 33 yards that time. A lot of running backs in the passing game, they're just used to checking down to them or maybe dump off passes. But this guy, they use him to stretch the field, don't they? He stretched it right there, turned it into a really nice game. Going to give it to Battle, and he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. We knew both of these safeties were good in run support, but how about the play we just saw there? How about that closing speed? Able to get to the outside part of the field and turn that play into a loss. So a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction, and that leads us to second and 15. Looking to throw, Baldwin. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he gets this inside the 10 to the 9. It's also a gain of 9. To throw on third down, Baldwin. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And he will take it out to the 25-yard line. What did you see on that one? Rookie mistake or just good defense? It was a combo play, but the rookie quarterback, he'll take it all on his shoulders, and the frustration level is evident. You can see it with him. You know, if that's a veteran quarterback, he walks off like he just threw a touchdown pass because he doesn't want to show that to the defense. The young guys, they take it more to heart. It's on their sleeve a little bit. He'll learn as he goes along how to hide his emotions. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. Uh-uh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. I apologize in advance, partner, but the beef eaters on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. Well, we got beef eaters licking their chops and tasty dish in one fell swoop. I did apologize in advance, didn't I? Yeah, you did. That line's not eating tofu, I'll tell you that much for free. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. A 45-yard punt for there on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. And the Buccaneers getting ready to go as they take the field. They're down big here late. I don't know. What, you just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. To throw on second down, Baldwin. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. On first down, Baldwin. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Looking to throw on second down, Baldwin. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. The Bucks passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. Clock management definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. And now it 
appears that the referee's been buzzed, and we'll get a review. And this being inside two minutes of play, everything coming from up above. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the officials and the folks in New York got a second look at this one, and the call is going to be overturned. From the gun on third down, Baldwin. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 45-yard line. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. Throwing on first down, Baldwin. And boy, another ill-advised throw there as that will wind up incomplete. One final shot, they'll look to throw. One last shot at the end zone. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. So time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons. And it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points that lone field goal in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, offense sells tickets. Defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Helping them just a field goal? That's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there with that determination and a pretty good game plan, pretty good idea of what they wanted to accomplish, just love the execution, love the tenacity, love the way they finished. So for the Falcons, they get win number 10 on the year as they move to 10 and 1. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Buffalo Bills. Meanwhile, for Tampa Bay, it's a loss that could wind up costing them a first round bye as they dip to nine and three. And they'll try to make amends next week as they host the New Orleans Saints. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.